Hello everybody. Welcome to season 5 number 1 podcast. We are here. I know that you guys are wondering what happened this season. Why is it that there is no podcast? Well, it was the beginning of the year so I was a little, you know, busy in few other things but we are ready now and I have a beautiful lineup of incredible speakers, incredible guests to the show. Runners I with Bala podcast. and uh, the the best of it is today because i have three lovely 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 gentlemen amazing runners uh future superstars i can i can keep going on and on uh, about these uh, these boys these guys um who just uh, took season 4 uh, by storm i would say but uh, without further ado let me invite them and allow them to introduce themselves you can expect a uh, weekly continuation of this podcast with uh, other guests but let's start with this one uh, let's start with the one in yellow t-shirt why don't you go ahead and please introduce yourself hi i'm rafa and i've done one half marathon i am 10 years old you're 10 years old and you already completed a half where are you from rahul i am from westford massachusetts you're from, from westford united states Wonderful, Westford, Massachusetts, uh, in northern part of United States. It's great. Uh, your parents do they run too? Yes, they do. Well, who are they? Sri Ram and Sushma. Sri Ram and Sushma. So you're the son of Sri Ram and Sushma. They, are they also first time runners? Uh, in no, Indo- it's their second time running, and it's my time. Se- and it's my second time running. Oh, so all of you started together. It looks like last season, huh? Yeah. lovely well lovely lovely welcome rahul uh, all of 10 years old already a marathon runner half marathon runner and i cannot wait to talk to you more and hear your thoughts about your experiences and your thoughts lovely now let's talk to the the gentleman in blue t-shirt or blue sweatshirt um hello um my name is vishtat um so yeah this is my second season with balankal second half marathon um well i am from plano texas and how old yeah, are you uh i am 13 and i'm going to 9th grade next year 13 years old going to 9th grade and uh, from plano texas awesome vishrut welcome welcome buddy and what about the third guest the last but not the least um hello my name is vidyat i am 13 years old I live in Plano, Texas, and this is my second season with second season with Runners High with Bala. Hmm. Both of you 13 years old. Both of you are Plano, Texas. Are you guys related? Yes. Um we're both twins. Oh, you guys are twins as well. Wonderful. So we have twin boys and uh, both of them are uh, ran their first uh, half marathon last season. Now they are in the second season, 13 years old. 8th grade going to 9th grade shortly and what your parents talk to me about your parents do they run too or what's the deal there um our whole family runs so oh, my family. father yeah my father gv my mom deepa and my sister my older sister netra netra so all three of you run uh, uh friends gv ganesh uh you know myself we were uh, classmates from 6th grade and i cannot believe that now we have uh, grown and our kids are like of course running a lot better than us and they will do better than us in life too so it's really nice to see and uh, be among uh, the the next generation of superstars welcome guys welcome to the show cannot wait to uh, you know talk a little bit more about uh, yourself so this time let's start with vidyut so vidyut you know let's rewind your life back a little bit huh? about say 6 7 months ago you are this 13 or maybe just became 13 year old uh, kid maybe you have run a little bit here and there i'm sure any 13 year old would do how come suddenly you decided to do a half marathon and that to you know jump into a half marathon training and that to a serious training program like this well uh during the pandemic i just find a form of physical exercise that was safe for me and would also push me and i wanted to do something unique like different from what other kids do and i heard my dad has done uh a few half marathons and 
I also heard that he was going to sign up for this running program. So I was interested as well. And I decided that I would like to sign up with him and hopefully have fun with him too. Yeah, but did you realize uh, how big it, this program would be? Like, did you realize how hard or difficult a uh, half marathon would be at that time? Um, I Before, I had absolutely no running experience. I never ran long distances. And, I mean, it's just a blessing that I've been able to run Amazing. this far. You just put your trust in your dad and just jumped in. That's really what it was, huh? That's really nice. Sometimes, guys, for the audience, ignorance is bliss. You know, I tell others, and there's a great example is we are here with kids. Yeah. Kids don't think too much. You know, if adults should learn, if there's one thing we should all learn from kids is this. They don't think much. If somebody tells them they like the moment, they like the feeling, they just jump in and then they'll figure it out. That's exactly, I'm assuming, what these guys did. And here they are. And we all should have uh, take a little bit of a lesson from there by not overthinking on things. Uh, Vishrut, what about you, man? How was, what, what prompted you to take on a half marathon? Um, so similarly to my brother, um, we've run a few 5Ks, like one, five, one or two 5Ks here and there. But um, um, our dad has run, like, before um, this, our first season, he ran uh, two or three half marathons. So when he heard that Bal Uncle was having um, a program where he taught everyone, he taught people how to um, run a half marathon and prepare them he was really excited and he wanted to try it so we decided um, that uh, we would also join him and also our mother also did so for the first time my father and us would finally train actually train properly train for a half marathon how cool is that huh? doing it together as a family or uh, your mom, Deepa, she's also running for the first time, half marathon, not done before. And she's also coming in and, you know, uncharted territory, really. Mm -hmm. And this is training in Dallas, Texas in the middle of summer. It's not like, uh, you know, some nice cool place to run. So it's a, it's, a, it's a big chunk you have to do for three, four, five months to get this. So, so proud of you guys. Thanks, to Vishwit, for sharing that. Rahul, what about you? When I was doing my half marathon, I was a little tense, but when I had done it, I was so happy. So that's great, but I'm asking, how did you get into the, what, you know, how did you decide to jump into the half marathon training first? I, I was thinking a marathon would be hard, but when I saw a half marathon in people, it really motivated me, and I'm like, I want to do this. Got it. So, who, your, your dad told you to join, or like you asked your dad that I want to join? How did you know about this? My, my mom and dad told me about it. Uh huh. And you said, you know what, I absolutely want to do it, and you jumped in. Is that right? Yep. Awesome, Rahul. Well done. So, here you are, young boys, made a big decision of your life, you know, to sign up for a half marathon. And we all know it's a serious training program. I don't, while you guys are kids, I don't give you any extra, should I say, uh, leeway just because you're kids. It doesn't mean anything. Because half marathon requires toughness. So just because you're a kid, half marathon distance doesn't become six miles, right? It's still 30 miles for everybody. So I am being very strict with all of you. So the training program is, I would, would you agree it is an intense training program? It's not like something, just do it for a couple of weeks and let it go. You can't do that. So talk to me a little bit. Let's start with Vishrut this time. How was your, you know, if you think about your 16, 17 weeks of training over the summer, what are some of the few key points that you remember now about the training program? So probably the biggest thing I remember was um, at the start of the program, I, I wasn't really like enthusiastic and focused on the program. I did runs. I did it for the first few weeks, but I wasn't like focused on it so especially on the workouts so every single week my mother um would take me and make me do the workout okay come on today we're going to do all three sets today we're going to do every single run so week by week um day by day we all did it um the workouts and the runs as a family 
And finally, I realized that um, this is good for me and I better um, start doing this um, focus. So that's what I did. And here I am now. Lovely. Are there any uh, parts of the training that was particularly more difficult for you? Um, probably runs were not the most difficult part for me, at least. Um, the fart luck runs were tedious sometimes, but, um, you could get through them if you really focused. But I think the hardest part for me was, um, conv was to be convinced to do the workouts and the hip flexors and the butt attack, which as a family, all of us would do after dinner. So every single time my mother sometimes dragged me to do it on some days, but yeah. Those are probably the most tedious. And I'm sure right now you're not repenting all those strength exercises, right? It helps you. Uh, yes. That strength. Very nice. Thanks, for sure. Uh, Rahul, what about you, buddy? 16 weeks of training. Oh, how did it go? What are some of the things you remember? For my 16 weeks of training, I was feeling the runs a little harder than the workouts. The workouts for me was do it 20 minutes, then we're done. For run, I'm like, we have to get prepared. Now we have to run. Now we have to finish running. And now we have to go home. So it was more lasting and it took a long time. But after you do it, you feel like you've accomplished a whole puzzle piece. Yeah. And you're just moving on. And after you're done with the puzzle, you're, you'll be very happy. That's so true. That's so true. absolutely agree with you. What about you, Vidyut? Um, training instilled uh, lots of discipline and it gave me a lot of worth, work ethic. Um, like uh, Balancla said, in the summer, Texas gets super hot. So I woke up at 7 o'clock every morning in the summer and I had to run. And I remember vividly this one run with my father. It was a long run and I had to run three miles. And I was just out of breath. And when I finished, he told me, walk back home. I'll finish two miles and I'll come back. And in my head, I just thought to myself, how is this man still surviving? <laughs> and he's running two more miles. And, I, and from that day, I remember that moment. And it's just very special for me because it makes me self-reflect on how I have moved on and how I've progressed from that moment. Beautiful. So guys, for the, for the folks who are listening to this, there are some golden nuggets these guys said. And I just want to make sure I, I codify that. Uh, if, I, if you think about what Vishrut said, right? They, it's not an easy thing. There are going to be times when it's, things are difficult, right? Whether it was uh, the difficulty of doing a fartlek run for him initially, or whether it was a difficulty of beating a little bit of laziness and trying to do strength. You know, those things everybody will face. But the, the point is, what did you do with that? Did you succumb to it or did you achieve and conquer it? In Vidyut and Vishnuth and everybody's case, all these kids' case, they conquered it. Okay, so that's something that you should know that everybody will face this. Facing is not the problem. The problem is, what have you done with that? And likewise, when you talk, thought about Rahul, one of the things he was talking about is that after the run, you felt amazing. And I can guarantee you, after every run, you will feel amazing. It is not like just one day you felt amazing. After every day, do you guys agree with me? After every day you finish your training, when you come home full sweat, you feel as if you have achieved something. You know, that is runner's high, guys. That is runner's high. And Rahul felt it. And Rahul remembers that in his training. And I'm sure that is what is driving him to come back and do it again and again. Phenomenal. And with youth, three miles was difficult for him. Okay. Three miles is difficult for him. Right now, if I ask him, just no training, maybe he just had his lunch. If I just tell Vidyut, Vidyut, go and run six miles and come back, he will do it without even thinking. Without even thinking. He'll not even, he'll just go and run and come back. That is how Vidyut is now. And I know Vishnu is the same. I know Rahul is the same. What I'm telling you is, and this, this thought about three miles being difficult, is not like 10 years ago or something. I'm talking about just a couple of months or three, four months ago, he was feeling this. So this is tangible improvement can take place because you are in structured training, continuous training, not letting it go, relentless. 
unstructured. That is what these guys have gone through and that's what they're experiencing and they're showing it to you. So I, won't, I, I hope all the audience here recognize that. Uh, thank you guys for sharing that. Uh, let me move on to your actual marathon day. That reminds me, Rahul, looks like you're wearing a special t-shirt. What t-shirt is that? That's the t-shirt the t-shirt that you gave us. Oh, runner's eye t-shirt, season four. I love it. I love it. I should have worn it too. But uh, yeah, why don't you start this time with Rahul. Uh, talk to me about your uh, marathon day experience. When I was doing my first half marathon, the day before, the night before that, I was so tensed, but I just had to calm myself down and say, it's tomorrow. We don't need to work ourselves up. <laughs> and when tomorrow came and I did my half marathon, I was just doing it. I was doing it and then I went till the eighth mile and I'm like, okay, I am almost done. And then, then came the ninth mile. It started off okay, but then it got a little hard. And then once I got into the 10th mile, I started getting a lot of cramps and got really tired. But at that exact time, Shiyot's and uncle came and ran with me for the next three miles. And that really gave me a lot of motivation and I just finished it off. Wow. I'm so happy. Amazing. So you want to thank Shivatsan Uncle for it? Yes. Yes, Shivatsan, thank you, buddy. Uh, you know, as, I, as we always say, right, it's not about you just running. It is about how you help others to finish their goals. I think Srivatsan Uncle, did you say that he already ran a half marathon at that time with his daughter or something? I think you were telling me that, right? Srivatsan? Yeah. And then he ran another three miles with you after he finished 13 miles with his daughter. Is that right? Yes. Think about that. That's, of course, Srivatsan, as you all know, is a superman, so you can do it. Uh, but still, he has chosen to do it. So thank you, Srivatsan. Rahul, thank you for bringing that up. I know that, right? Mile 10 is when the race begins. Would you all agree with me? Mile 10 is when the race begins. Still, yes. mile 10 is just getting ready for the race. It is how yeah. you do what you do after mile 10 is makes or breaks your half marathon. Mm -hmm. uh, really nice, Rahul. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, what about you, Vishrut? How was your uh, half marathon day? So, probably at the beginning, I was nervous, right? Because 13.1, it seems like a very big number. But then I thought of all the training I had and I was ready. So the first 10 miles were good, like Rahu. We were, we, I was doing fine. But then at the, between 10.5 and 11, I started to get cramps. And I needed, um, to, I needed some more motivation to keep on pushing, in my opinion. So then I just told myself, take one step at a time, one more step. So uh, before the half marathon, my dad always used to say one more step one more step so that uh his voice just played into my mind so it says one more step so finally i took one step at a time and then i finished my half marathon and to describe it in one word it's probably exhilarating amazing when you cross the finish line it's exhilarating isn't it absolutely what about you with you um my race day experience was something special Never have I ever felt more pain on, in one day, but I never have I ever in my life persevered more than that day. For me, the first seven miles were not difficult, but after that, I had lots of trouble with the last five. And I was so out of breath that I almost quit at 12 miles. But I told myself that I trained for 17 weeks and if I fall short of one mile, it is unexcusable. <laughs> so I finished and I was exhausted, but I learned that you should never give up. And I was super proud that I ran 13 miles while wow. only being 13 years old. What a story. So Rahul, how long it took for you to finish your half marathon? One hour, 58 minutes and 30 seconds. One hour, 58 minutes. What about you, Ishrit? Um, my run took me two hours and five minutes. Two hours, five minutes. And with you? Uh, mine was two hours and 12 minutes. My goodness. These are searing pace, guys. Searing, searing pace. Raho, 
sub two at 10 years old. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. You guys, two hours 12 and two hours five. Two hours five is a sub 10 minute pace. I think it's 9.30 or something. 2.12 is very, very close to a 10 minute pace. Uh, average uh, split space. These are all humongous, humongous, humongous achievement. Like just so for you, uh, just so you know, I must have done about 35, maybe half marathons till now. My absolute best has been in Dallas, which was two hours, 10 minutes. That's it. I can't do even 30 seconds better than two hours, 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, my first half marathon, I did three hours, 10 minutes or something. And I almost could not walk back after the finish line because I didn't even properly train. That's a separate story. Like, you know, the way you guys train, I was, unfortunately, I didn't have Bala to coach me. I just trained myself in a different way badly. But man, this is such an amazing achievement. And congratulations, guys. That's why you guys are special runners. Uh, Rahul, I feel that you can shave off another couple of minutes this, uh, this season. I really feel both with you and Vishuddh. No pressure here. But knowing you guys, you're also growing. You know, you guys are growing stronger. That's the best part. Like we are all like people like me are growing weaker uh, every season. You guys are the other way around. You'll grow stronger every season. And I feel that you guys can even break a tour uh, this season if you and because it's not summer. So running in Dallas heat is very different than running in Dallas even you know April time. It'll be just like fantastic experience. Um, awesome guys, this is so nice to uh, hear your achievements. Uh, so let's wrap this up. Uh, why don't we start with Vidyut? Why don't you give a couple of words of wisdom? Uh, you know that right? This season we have 150 runners of which almost 60 or 70 are brand new runners, never run before, okay? And there are a lot of kids too, as I said, your age group, kids who have never done before, they're just starting to run. There are kids who are five years old too. Can you believe it? There is a five-year-old who is running a 5K. There is a seven-year-old who is running a 10K. And then we have a bunch of other kids like your age group doing their first half marathon, as well as a lot of adults who have never run before and doing their 5K, 10Ks. So, Thinking of all those guys, you know, you are in their shoes six, seven months ago. Uh, give a little bit of word of wisdom on how to think about uh, the season and running. Uh, let's start with Vidyut. Um, you should, my word of wisdom would be, you should always make time for your run. Because believe me, your running is one of the best stress relievers for me. And mostly, I, I think a lot of people would agree with me. It's just a great stress reliever in general for school, work, life, you know, whatever. I think that if you make the time to run, then you you will really cherish those moments. And I think you will feel a lot better after you run. That's make the time and reap the benefit. That's basically what you're saying. Very nice. Vishrit? Um, so, um, for newcomers, like try to take one day at a time. Like if you, if say on one day you're running three miles and then you're looking at uh, the Saturday's run, oh, I have a five mile run. And the next Saturday, oh, I have a six mile run. Just focus on that one day. And after you finish that one day, you will be um, exhilarated and ready and you will be pumped for the next day. And then that cycle will continue all the way until the half marathon. Absolutely. Don't overthink. Don't over plan. Just focus on your next run. And in every run, focus on just your next step. That's all you need to do. You keep doing this again and again before you know you've finished your half marathon or whatever is the race. Lovely, lovely word of advice. Rahul, what about you, buddy? My word of advice is just say you're doing a 10K and at the fourth mile, you're like, I am so tired. Just think, what am I going to do when I'm done? Will I get like an ice cream? What, anything that you like, just think about that. And next thing you know, you're done. And you can just ask your parents, or if you are a parent, you can just get it by yourself. <laughs> so true, right? Think about the beautiful things that can happen after the run. You will feel motivated. Absolutely agree. When I do full marathon, that's what I do. I'm in the middle of 14, 15th mile and I know another 8, 9 miles remaining. But all I'm thinking is after I finish, how nice a massage I can get. 
I can how I can lie down and just uh, you know my wife will come and give me some hot puris that I can eat. Those are the things I was thinking, and you know, mind game. It's about the mind game. Beautiful, beautiful uh, words of uh, wisdom, uh, Rahul. Thank you. Um, it was really nice, wonderful talking with you. Thank you for uh, coming and sharing your words to kick off the this season's podcast series. Um, I'm sure that a lot of us, uh, the audience, will enjoy this, and uh, even for you guys. Hopefully, you know, 10, 15 years later, when you come back and see this video. Uh, you will feel nice that you have done this in a formal environment. So thank you guys, and uh, we will uh, we'll again discuss uh, you know as we move forward. And best of luck for this season. And I think that you guys can continue to improve only because you're just still kids growing. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.